Okay guys, we've had a few messages asking us how we fitted this type of drive in the, in the car. The radiator would hit this drive if we didn't move the radiator back. So I thought I'd make a video and show you exactly what we did. Uh, hopefully the people out there that are doing the same thing, it might uh, show them what we did and give them a hand doing it. So basically the radiator is too close with the fans on the back of it to fit the drive in, the gear in. So we've had to remove the radiator back about two inches um, to, to fit it in. So what we did was we cut the little brackets off that hold the radiator in that usually sit about here straight down and we've moved them back and welded them in on a slight angle so the radiator leans back a little bit. The holes down the bottom where the radiator also normally sits in, uh, we've had to drill some holes a bit closer forward to the front of the car so the radiator can fit in there as well which leaves us with a gap of about 10 mil um, which is enough to to fit and make it work well it doesn't touch anything it doesn't um, rub so very simple cut the brackets off move them back about two inches weld them on a slight angle redrill the holes on the bottom so your bottom of your radiator feet can sit in keep it firm um, it also leaves enough room to still have the aircon uh, on the back, which we're not going to do, but if you are going to do it, there's enough room to do that. And then the intercooler on the front. Now, the intercooler, we've had to cut out the bar that runs along the front of the car, the crash bar, just so it sits forward slightly, which allows everything to fit in there nicely. So it's not really hard to do, as I said. Uh, very simple, cut the brackets off, move them back, re-weld them in, do some new holes for the bottom of the radiator and away you go. You can have it on whatever angle you like. We chose it leaning forward at the bottom of the radiator uh, just because it's easier to get down to the bottom if you want to work on anything like the radiator hoses or the, uh, the crossover hose, anything like that. So that's pretty much it. I can't really show you anything because we didn't film it because it was very simple. It took us about half an hour. Um, I don't think anybody will have any trouble doing it and it gives you enough room at the back, as I said, to have this kind of pulley system put on it. We'll have a, a bit of footage on us putting the radiator back in so you can see how well it fits and how it goes in uh, on the next video once we uh, finish putting the engine in and have a start up. So we'll film how we've done it, how it sits and how it looks to give you a better idea and we'll also show you the gap that we've got on the back so you can get an idea of how much room you've got there. So that'll be coming up in the next video, which should hopefully be done uh, very, very soon. So hopefully that helps somebody uh, if they're doing it at home. And um, we've got a few other videos on, on the, the car that we've done. We've got the dyno tune. We've got the fuel cell uh, recessed into the wheel well in the, in the boot. Uh, we've got the engine installed. We'll be uh, having the, the start up shortly, the video, so that's something else to watch for. If you haven't seen them, please go and like and subscribe and check out the videos and see the progress of the, the car. And uh, thanks for the support, all the messages. Hopefully this video helps somebody out.